Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns reluctantly agreed to team up a WWE Bad Blood to face Jacob Fatu and Solo Sikoa. Rhodes defeated Sikoa in a steel cage match, but the tribal air wasn't finished with either star. He quickly petitioned SmackDown GM Nick Aldis to book a tag team match for the next PLE on the schedule. The bloodline will assuredly interfere, giving Tama Tonga and Tonga Loa something to do if not defending their titles. To even the odds, other stars could come to the aid of the head of the table and the American Nightmare. The next seven WWE stars could interfere in the tag team match pitting Rhodes and Reigns against Sokoa and Fatu at Bad Blood. The Bloodline defeated DIY to win the WWE tag team titles last month. Solo Sikoa interfered to ensure his faction would walk away with the gold. The Street Profits and DIY battled each other for a shot to face the new champs. Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins won that match but fell to Tonga and Loa. The two teams joined up to face the Bloodline on last week's SmackDown. The Bloodline then invaded NXT last week. As the Street Profits challenged Axiom and Nathan Fraser for the NXT tag titles. Both teams have gripes against Sikoa's group. They won the titles without honor and have continued to bully both squads. Having backup like that could help Reigns and Rhodes at bad blood. Kevin Owens has been the greatest enemy of the bloodline in all of its forms. He challenged Roman Reigns shortly after he captured the Universal Championship in 2020. The bloodline cost him in every challenge. When Sami Zayn aligned with the group, the prize fighter was one of the few people who tried to reason with his friend. He knew they'd turn on him the second he made any mistake. That happened but was helped when Reigns ordered the brutal assault on Owens last year. The prize fighter has remained in the sights of Solo Sikoa following WrestleMania 40, and he could factor into a huge showdown at Bad Blood. Along with Kevin Owens, Randy Orton has been battling the bloodline over the last few years. They injured Matt Riddle after taking the Raw Tag Team Championship from RK, bro. The Viper has backed Cody Rhodes up in his fight with the group. The Bloodline made Rhodes watch as they took out his friend and mentor. Since Orton challenged Gunther and lost, he can refocus his energy on SmackDown. WWE made a big deal of his return on the season premiere, but everyone knew Owen's partner was Orton. The Viper could assist Cody once again and finally turn on him to set up a title program many fans want. John Cena essentially passed the torch to Solo Sikoa at last year's Crown Jewel event. He put the young performer over in a dominant fashion. Sikoa sent Cena packing from WWE for a few months. The 16-time world champion reappeared at WrestleMania 40 to counter The Rock's interference in the main event. Cena is getting ready to begin his retirement tour and could return the favor to Solo and The Rock by supporting Rhodes and Reigns. His potential actions at Bad Blood could set up a huge showdown for War Games. WWE needs to methodically utilize Sanos. Final dates to provide fans with meaningful matchups and dream showdowns.